Well, the guys at the Caledon Fire Department are a bunch of car buffs, and on a quiet Saturday afternoon, they were watching what else? Dream Car Garage. They were watching us build this killer LED8 motor, and they figured the motor was so hot, they better be on hand when we take this for its maiden voyage. So that's exactly where we are, at the Caledon Fire Department. We're ready to take this for its initial run, shake it down, make sure everything works, and we've got the fire department handy just in case. So let's take it for a spin. What you want to do when you're debugging a car is just take it really easy. You don't want to stand on it and have something come apart and end up in a ditch, especially when it's someone else's car. So what we'll do is we'll just go through all the gears, make sure that the training's working nice. This is a prototype training from Auto Gear. It seems to shift real smooth, but like I said, just break it in slowly. When we come up to our first stop, you want to ease into the brakes, make sure they're not pulling left or right, and again, it end up putting you in a ditch. At some point, you want to take it on a nice open road, let it breathe a little, make sure there's no tire shakes, make sure there's no vibrations through the motor, training, rear end, all that sort of stuff. You want to make sure all the switches work, like the heater. Ah, no time for that. You'll also want to check all the gauges. When we started with this car, everything worked but the clock, and everything's working again, that's a good sign. The other thing you want to do is idle around at low speed because in traffic you want to make sure this car isn't going to overheat. The temperature starts coming up on this, you see there's no issues at all. Just want to make sure to go through all the gauges, make sure the oil pressure is good, water temperature is good, the RPM seems to be about right, the mile an hour seems to have the right gear in the transmission. Then start going through all the mechanical items inside, turn signals, make sure they, they work inside, make sure they work outside. Back to the wiper motors, make sure they work. Generally on a road test, we'll take it on the back streets a little bit, make sure we don't get any stone chips on it, and take it for a good half hour drive, making sure that, it, like I said, it doesn't overheat, doesn't do anything stupid. And at that point, we're ready to get on it just a little bit. Larry's left us instructions not to really beat the car out of this car. So we'll take it up to 5,000 RPM. Again, make sure there's no vibrations, make sure there's no missing. And after that, Larry can beat on it as hard as he likes.